What's good YouTube? It's your boy Back to Ball and Will and I'm coming to y'all today with another reaction video. So on this reaction video, I'm actually going to be reacting to how ASAP Mob failed to reach their full potential. So Hip Hop Madness, he's talking about this right now. This, I just want to see how did they not get up there because they're one of the biggest groups out right now, honestly. Like from the fashion side, from Ian Connor to ASAP Bar with V-Lone, Sicko, I'm just um I'm just wondering. ASAP Ferg, he's a great rapper, phenomenal rapper. So is Rocky. So and um 12E and everybody else in the group, they all doing their thing. So I just want to see um his side of you and his points. So I'm just gonna react to this video and um put my little two cents in. <laughs> so let's start off with a quote from Melon himself. ASAP Mob, I I've come to the conclusion that they are easily the most overrated rap crew in hip-hop history. Collectively, they've never had a good or solid project. They don't really- Bro! V-Lone sells out in seconds! Sicko goes crazy! They must be talking about just the, the rap. They must be just talking about the rap side. Just as a group have a cohesive sound or style up until this point They've shown very little in the way of like collective artistic chemistry Only a select few of the members of the group are actually like entertaining to listen to ASAP Nast, ASAP Ant, ASAP 12 You might as well take a sleeping pill when you listen to these dudes and good luck telling them apart most of the time too And the mobs relevancy thrives mostly on the individual relevancy of their biggest members Rocky and Ferg and now Playboy Cardi who I actually forgot was like Even sort of a part of the ASAP mob uh, when tracks like Magnolia were doing numbers Described as a lifestyle by the since exiled ASAP Bari also Rest in peace, ASAP Yams, too, man. Lines suggested that ASAP, no matter what it truly meant, was an ideology that its members took to heart. Operating as a commune, this mentality was best captured by Rocky himself on his breakout hit Peso as he famously spit ASAP, Stevie got it on his sleeve, but I got it on my chest, this is what I breathe. Unencumbered by regional East Coast identity as they've known it, Rocky's incredible debut mixtape, Live Love ASAP, Ugh. set the benchmark for the crew and the vice-like grip that they hold on pop culture at their peak. Yet, in the years that have followed, most of the group's output has fallen below the high bar set by that enchanting Clams Casino heavy record. And in many ways, they've arguably deviated from the initial goal that was set out by Yams himself. Bro, Bari is so skinny in that, like, <laughs> over there, bro. Like, that's like, that's young Bari right there, man. Resembling less of a celebrated dynasty and more of a disjointed mishmash of artists experiencing varying levels of success. In fact, they haven't even lived up to the revised plans that ASAP 12 e put forth during 2017's Cozy Tapes Volume 2 listening party. We're trying to lock down every generation, he informed W. We're coming for the Teen Choice Awards, the Disney Channel Awards. There are no boundaries, added Rocky. Most people's rap careers only last for two years. We just want to let you know we're here to stay. And that's facts. They've been doing, bro, honestly. Uh, Rocky haven't really been dropping that much. And, and so have Ferg. They, they both, they just been chilling low key. I've just been seeing um they've just been behind the radar. They've been promoting their boys, but they have not been dropping at all that much. And that's crazy because they're both talented people. As seen in Anthony Fantano's scathing critique, there's been no shortage of oxygen given to the idea that ASAP Mob has underdelivered. Yet, what's merited less analysis is that, even since its earliest days, where their late visionary presided over the crew, there was a tendency to create unrealistic expectations that have only worsened when seen in the rearview mirror. For one, 2014 saw a false equivalency from ASAP Nast in which he compared TDE to the mob of the West Coast. Later that same year, for- Hold on, bro. Nas said that? Oh my gosh. Right, hold declared on. that Lord, L-O-R-D, a project that would unceremoniously be scrapped during an ASAP Yams Tumblr Q&A was the best album in the world. Elsewhere, it seemed that certain members' roles and talents were overstated. In 2012, 
Founding member ASAP Ills proclaimed that his vision is coming soon. Clothing line, short films, little automobile things. To date, little to none of that has actually materialized. And while it'd be easy to buy into your own in midst of the come up, this degree of self-deception is most damning from the viewpoint of ASAP Ant during a 2017 yeah. complex profile on Rocky. Chiming in from the sidelines, the artist otherwise known as YG Addy claimed that it's like the second coming of Jesus, but we never went nowhere though. We were chilling, getting money. Emphasizing relaxation over work, it's as if the security blanket afforded by stars such as Rocky and Ferg have inadvertently been the ASAP mob's undoing. Although it's likely unintended, the division between the foot soldiers and its high-ranking officers are right, they more of models than <laughs> they're more of models than rappers now. Like that that and that's not that's not bad. They're doing their thing, bro. Like if you make it somewhere in life and you're over it, the beauty about being like known and having that 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 leverage of doing these things. You can you can branch off. You can you can go to different solutions. Such you can model. You can be an actor, bro. You can be a preacher. Literally, like you don't have to stay like a rapper. You feel me? So like I don't know. Are all too identifiable? Away from the name recognition, this can easily be traced when you consider the production values of a video such as ASAP ties Trump compared to any of the high-end creative suites that accompany Flacco or Ferg tracks. While most of the mob has upheld the idea of harmony between its members, the issue of prioritizing some members, or in this case, outsiders over the core group, could be seen way back in 2013. Taking a Twitter for an explosive tirade, producer ASAP Ty Beats, the man behind Purple Swag, maintained that the inner circle prioritized artists such as LA Joey Fats over advancing his career. But if there was one defining feature of the group back in those early days, it's that it appeared to run like clockwork. For this, it appears the credit goes to the fallen architect, Yams. Yeah. He had this thing called the Black Book where he wrote all his ideas and his mother granted us the access to go through it and complete his vision, Ferg revealed in 2016. Serving as the engine that propelled the group, the lack of central command is off- Bro, I did not know Yams had that Black Book. That's crazy because they be doing some, some cool stuff such as like videos and just, I, I see a lot of things with like fashion and just overall, mu sometimes music, but I didn't know he was like really like the behind the scenes brains of like the mob and stuff. Often seen as the reason that many members have floundered since Yam's passing. Rollouts are stunted, under publicized or abrupt, leaving tracks and whole projects to disappear. While the latest project from Rocky, Ferg, or Og's crown jewel Playboy Cardi sets the world alight. A far cry from lack of cohesion that appears to exist today ASAP Mob's every move had once appeared regimented. While Ferg was primed to release his debut album, Trap, Trap Lord, Lord. Yeah, Major, Yams was the one that laid out the groundwork before the artist had even caught wind of it. He was the first to let me know. He was like, yo, don't tell nobody, but you got upgraded to RCA Sony. You're about to get your deal. And I was like, word, I don't even know how to take that. I felt like a, a basketball player that just got drafted. I didn't even tell my mother, like, I just couldn't believe it because I had got signed to uh, ASAP Worldwide and that's our label deal. And then I got upgraded to a major deal. That's a blessing. Sony RCA. And that was like me becoming LeBron or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As well as Ferg shedding light on the concept of a label mandate. Congrats on Ferg with that, man. Two within the mob, his comments hint at a graduation process that since Yam's untimely death has been non-existent. Away from Cardi bringing a healthy dose of eccentric I posing like that, bro. to the group through AUG, most of its members have been leveled out. When you're in close proximity of a bright star, or in Rocky's case, a supernova, it's only natural that things in the background will appear dimmed in comparison. 
From his mainstream ascent onward, Rocky's charisma and ability to foster close ties to other transcendent artists ranging from Drake to Lana Del Rey, as well as his alignment with high fashion. Before Drake became like up there Drake, he said ASAP Drizzy. <laughs> has set a precedent that others couldn't equal. Dwindling as a creative superpower, the prominent and listener- Also, Chet, if y'all haven't heard that Cozy Boy mixtape. What glitch wah, 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 what glitch wah, 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 what glitch wah, wah, wah. That, hey, that Cozy Boy mixtape go crazy. <laughs> stars from outside the ASAP bubble on the Cozy tapes exemplifies their lack of appeal. True. While reports from Yams Day 2020 suggest that less of an onus is placed on a mob than ever. And yet, the blame can't be solely placed on the shoulders of their successful brothers. As when it comes down to it, Rocky and Ferg are still intertwined with the group every single time the acronym appears on a high profile fashion blog or as a prominent feature. Even nah, when it came also, bro, Rocky and Ferg, they be retweeting, they be promoting the hell out of their brother's stuff. They be promoting their stuff like crazy. I be seeing it. Like, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. his most subversive project to date in <clears throat> testing, Rocky's decision to usher in a new era with a single entitled ASAP Forever suggests that his allegiance hasn't wilted. But... For all that Yams had envisioned a hive mind of creatives that flourish in their own lanes, the ASAP machine isn't anywhere near as self-sustainable as they'd envisioned. Speaking in 2017, ASAP 12E's testimony to XXL about the 10 years worth of delays that hampered his debut album, it suggested that the guidance that he needed to make it work was unavailable within his pre-existing camp. Asked what led to its release, yeah. Twelve he claimed this. Meeting Josh, my manager, I didn't even have a team, and Josh put together a leak proof rollout, and now we're here. With Josh, he came to the table with a whole master plan, and it was great to have somebody bring something new to the table. From ASAP Ants and Marino Infantry to the late Jay Scott and ASAP Lose Cody Boys Blue. and Twelve Rest in Peace, Jay Scott, man. Twelve's last year being broke forming your own splinter brand under which to develop your art is a common occurrence within their ranks. Tellingly formed in 2017, the latter has since been repurposed as last year being broke, but 12 he has, again, been eager to spotlight an external force's role in guiding his career. Broke, it gave me a, a, a platform and also it gave me a, a, a organization to bring upon young Young entrepreneurs, artists, musicians, everything, you know what I'm saying? And with them, you know, they empowering me, I get to empower my music, empower True. my brand. And it's just like a each one teach one situation. And without LYBB and the people of LYBB, I wouldn't really be here today, you know what I'm saying? Forging ahead on their own, the existence of these subsidiaries suggests one of two things. Either the ASAP mob machine wasn't fit for purpose, or many enterprising minds were all attempting to coexist under one insubstantial umbrella. However, what the existence of their own camp proves is you can't rely on the ASAP framework to uplift your career. For some that have been left out on a limb with little discography to show for it, it yep. seems that the safety net of the ASAP name allowed complacency to set in. Meanwhile, those letters are something that latter-day affiliates such as Playboy Cardi and, to a lesser extent, Smokey Margiela have flourished without. As a result, it was easy to dismantle ASAP Mob's early claims of an impeding revolution, and as the years have trickled by, allowing fans and critics to diminish their reputation. But in the same vein as Wu Tang, Odd Future, Raider Clan, True. or any crew that's seen members go on to drastically different paths, the name is a launch pad. What you choose to do with it afterwards is under your control and up to you. Once again, all reports suggest that Yams was intent on each member earning the name, as opposed to it becoming an honorary title. Having learned from past mistakes, the false sense of security that comes from being in the presence of greatness is something that 12 e has been open about facing down in the past. Yams used to just be in the studio, he'd be in there. 
Nobody doing nothing. He'd be like, y'all not hot. Y'all not doing anything. Y'all not lit. We used to just be in there like, what he talking about? But in hindsight, it's like, we really not. We ain't got anything out. Only person that's moving is Flacco. Flacco, Flacco. Yeah. He's your bro. So he never going to be on it. Now, he is. But before, he used to let you bury yourself. We got a new mentality. Once earmarked for greatness, many a ace. Bro, he was a motivator then, bro. If he was like, y'all aren't out and stuff. Man, that's crazy, bro. Yams play a big part in the mob. Anyways, chat. I'm going to cut it short right now. I hope all y'all have a blessed day. Anyways, thank y'all for tuning into the video. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love each and every one of y'all. And stay juiced up. Yeah! Also, please let me know if you guys want me to react to any other videos. Let me know. I'll react to it right away. Let me know. Send me a DM on Twitter. It will be down there in the link in the description. Let me know. All right. Peace, y'all. We out. I can't get no rest. We in the house. I fall asleep with a tech. Right. Stashing all the pills. And